Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for December 15th to the 16th of 2021. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Taurus. Next 48 hours for Taurus spirit. What does Taurus need to know for December 15th to the 16th of 2021 for Taurus? Next 48 hours for Taurus. All right, let's see. All right, we have 30, castle, it's time for healing, not war. We have 40, mourning, the world awaits you. We have um, 37, a 10 or a 1, gray endings are inevitable. And overall, we have 18, which is a 9, tree, let them go. Yeah, you're ending a relationship with someone. I mean, the castle is time for healing, not war. So you're not meant to argue or fight for them or for this or with them. It's time to, endings are inevitable. Let it go. Let them go. Yep. I feel like you'll be better for it because all three of these cards right here about letting someone go, not fighting for anything anymore, not letting it continue, just putting it to rest, like the death card or the world card. But this card right here is like mourning the world awaits you. This is like the full card. You're happy that it's over. When it's done and you let it go, you're, it's like a big relief. So let's get into the tarot for Taurus next 48 hours. What does Taurus need to know for December 15th and 16th of 2021 for Taurus? Next 48 hours for Taurus. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, we have the high priestess, Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, you're already in the hermit card, Virgo. These two are the most the for me as a reader the most mystical psychic like cards ever you just know you just know you just know you're not new to this okay you're true to this you know this relationship this story this person in front to back like the back of your hand then we got the higher font there you are taurus you got the high priest the high font and the hermit oh and you know i don't know if h's matter that's the first time i picked up on that but it's like they all begin with an H. The High Priestess, the Hermit, the Hierophant. Then we have the Seven of Swords. Yes, this is a lot of secrecy. I mean, they're, they all, they're, they're all into mysticism and they keep the secrets of the underworld or spirituality or, you know, they keep the secrets. The Hermit, especially the High Priestess. Is, yeah, they all keep their mouth quiet about what they know. These three people, these three figures know a whole lot about the underworld or the other side, but they keep it to themselves. Overall energy is the two of pentacles. Yep, juggling. And it's and I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of secrets between you and this person or this company or place or thing, lying, cheating, stealing. A lot of secrets were kept. Overall energy, the two of pentacles is juggling. Eight of Wands, Tower, yep, a Death Card, Scorpio. All these secrets may have come out at once. It's like, you know now. This person was keeping a lot of secrets, and now you know all of them. There was a lot of secrets between the two of you. A Virgo may have told you, or another Taurus or a Pisces, but all three of these cards, are, I mean, look up, if you don't know anything about Tarot, look up the High Priestess, the Hermit, and the Hierophant. These are all gatekeepers to, like, um, spirituality and the esoteric so that's like deeper knowledge secrets and then hhh is like if you put it i know i'm being extra like i'm reaching right now but it's like shh or hush it's like secrets major secrets coming out and it's like you know all of them if you didn't know anything before you're about to know all of them in the next 48 hours you're about, all the secrets are about to hit you at once clarify this for taurus Clarifies much for Taurus. There's not going to be anything you don't know about this connection in the next 48. You're going to know everything. And then I'm shuffling. I get the her the hermit. <laughs> Clarify this for Taurus. I have one more shuffle because y'all need. Oh, that, that's a lot. That is a lot of information. It's like, again, you know this situation, this person, front to back, side to side. You you know everything about this situation in the next 48. Clarifying the high priestess of the Eight of Cups, you end up walking away. Or there's a water sign, Three of Pentacles. Yep, you walk away from someone that you work really well with because there's too many secrets or something like that. Clarifying the Hierophant is, I mean, sorry, clarifying the Hermit is the Hierophant here again. So you could be dealing with another Taurus. Four of Swords, yeah, there's too many secrets. There's entirely too much. I feel like this is like a catfish episode or it's like you only known this person online. It's like everything they told you is a lie. 
everything you knew was a lie, but you knew this, but you also kept a lot of secrets yourself. You both kept a lot of secrets from each other. Maybe you were both married or both in a relationship or you both, it was like, you both had a lot of secrets. Clarifying the higher font is the Six of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. So it's like you're both CIA agents or double agents. It's like you had to keep these secrets. It's not like you wanted to hurt each other. Clarifying the higher font is the Ten of Swords. Yes. So it could have been a marriage or a long time commitment, a, a long time higher commitment full of backstabbing and betrayal, just pain. This, this cycle with this person is like you had a strong connection uh, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. It's like a karmic relationship. It's like you have such a strong connection, but there's so many secrets at the same time. Just as strongly as you feel about each other, it's just as much as you hide from each other. It's like you're a great team, the high priestess and the higher font, but it's just so much you don't know about each other. It's insane. And you lie to each other a lot. Clarifying the seven of swords is the full card Aquarius. Yeah, new beginning. Two of swords. Overarching, she's the queen of wands, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep. And it's like, and I'm not accusing you of anything. I just feel like this reading is for people in particular. You both keep a lot of secrets, both of you. Someone, um, I feel like you or a Pisces, I feel like this is you walking away from this relationship. It's a really good friendship. You guys work well together, but it's because there's so much secrecy. You don't want to do it anymore. This hermit, this Virgo or this other Taurus, they want a higher commitment, but you don't want it. Someone here does not want to commit. It's like, you're both on the same page, but it's like, it's always something. It's always something. Either you're ready to commit and they're not, or vice versa. You never meet each other right there. It's like, you connect so well. There's so much chemistry. Everything's just perfect. But whenever it's time to commit, it's like, no one's actually there. You're on two different pages. Either you're ready and they're not, or vice versa. And with the higher font, the Taurus, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, like you want equal give and take, but someone's not doing that. So someone's a habitual liar or cheater. And the Seven of Swords, clarified by the, you want a new beginning, a clean slate, or they do. It's like you're, one of you is willing to put the past behind and keep everything open, but the other one does not want to. The other one wants to keep their secrets. So there will not be a new beginning until um, someone's willing to put everything behind. And I feel like it's like the opposite of that as well. It's like all the secrets come out. The ten of, I mean, the seven of swords, lying, cheating, stealing, clarified by the full card, new beginning. And the two of swords, these secrets, ironically, not knowing everything keeps you apart, but also knowing everything is keeping you apart. Because like when you find out the truth, you won't even want them. It's like the secrets. It's like, I can't be with you until you tell me everything. And then even when they do tell you everything, it's like, you don't want nothing to do with them. That's what I'm getting from this. Honestly, I see you ending the situation with this person because they're non-committal, habitual liar, habitual cheater. Someone could have been secretly married or in a relationship, a higher commitment of some kind. You're done. Eight of cups, four of swords, two of swords. You walk away, you block them. You're not moving forward. Ten of swords, you're done with them. I see you done with this person. Again, it could be another Taurus. It could be a Pisces or it could be a Virgo. It could be any sign. You're done with this person. I'm also seeing fire. You see a Sagittarius. Regardless, you're done. Just too many secrets. I'm, and also, this person could work from the government or CIA or something where they have to keep secrets, some type of intelligence. But there's just a whole fuck ton of secrecy here with the Hierophant here twice, the High Priestess and the Hermit and the Seven of Swords. Also, the Full Card Aquarius, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Taurus. Namaste.